Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an Otakon open hearing aid review and I've had these for about five months. I know you guys might be thinking what took you so long to do this video? Well, you know, when you're buying a hearing aid, it's a big, big investment. And it's not like a makeup palette where you can buy it, try it out once and be like, okay, I like that or oh, that's not good. It is like you're buying a part of you. Um, I really consider my hearing aids to be a part of me. I'm not fully me without them. I can't be myself without them because I'm just not getting everything as I would normally do with them if I didn't have them on, if that makes any sense. So I have taken five months to fully have my cohesive thoughts on these Otakon Open Hearing Aids. First off, I want to say I'm really, really grateful to um, be able to have these and there are some good things but there are also some cons to these hearing aids which are supposed to be the best on the market. I'm going to be going hard on these because if something claims to be the best on the market, I expect it to do everything it's said to do and more. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. But unintentionally, I have tried out two different versions of the Otakon Open. I have tried the Otakon Open Rechargeable Hearing Aid and the Otakon Open Mini Right T, which means that it had the telecoil. What happened was that my audiologist made a little mistake and she thought that it could be rechargeable and have telecoil, but you can only have one or the other. I will be talking about the differences between those two because, um... I did find a noticeable difference. But the ones that I ended up with are the Mini Right T just because I need them for school and FM systems and all that stuff. It's just very unusual friendly when you don't have the telecoil. So I'm going to briefly talk about the rechargeableness of the rechargeable ones. If you decide to go with that, I think it's a great choice if you know that telecoil isn't for you because the rechargeables kept their battery like all day. Even when I woke up really early and didn't go to bed until like 2 a.m., they were still there. And then you just take them out, you put them in a little charging dock, charge it overnight, and then it's fine the next day. Um, the rechargeables are really, really great. You don't have to change the battery. But with the Otacon, you can have regular batteries with them too, which is very interesting because a lot of other companies that do the rechargeable have it where you cannot use the regular batteries. So you can still use your regular 312 batteries with them. But you can also have the option of recharging it every night, which is what I did when I had it. The telecoil ones that I have right now, the battery is awful. Awful, awful. There, I said it, I know. I understand that I had the whole connectivity thing, which is a big part of this video that I will be talking about. But I use my hearing aids all the time. I can't be changing the battery every one and a half to two days, which is what has been happening. And I know I use it a lot with the phone and getting up early and going to bed late and FM system and all the connectivity. I understand that it drains a lot of the battery, but that's something that they definitely need to improve on because I'm changing the battery every two days and it's distracting and it's just not good. If telecoil isn't a big issue for you, I would say go with the rechargeable. They're a bit cheaper too. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about the actual one that I have right now. Um, I got it in the color black. It sort of looks like this as you can see right now. I love it. It matches my hair color so much. People don't even see it. I don't even see it. I thought black would stand out. I thought it wouldn't look nice. I love it. Um, the sides of the Otakon Open too are amazing. I just love the style and I love how compact it was with all the technology that is in the Otakon. Before I talk about the connectivity, I want to talk about the actual sound quality because that's important. So on the website, it says a lot of claims that I feel like can't really be backed up. It's just a bunch of gibberish data, but it doesn't really tell you where it got it from. I'm sure if I looked into it, I could find out, but it just says stuff like simply the best, open up and connect to a world of possibilities. And then it says the first hearing aid fast enough to support the brain. So powered by a technology called VLOX, um, which scans the environment 100 times per second to provide you with more accurate information about the 360 degree soundscape. So I 
am noticing that with these hearing aids, I am able to tell the direction of the sound that's coming at me, and I haven't been able to do that before. Like, I knew what general direction the sound was coming from, but I was never able to point it like, okay, that, that is where the sound is coming from. But with these hearing aids, I have noticed a huge difference that I can really tell the direction of the sound, and I think that is interesting because I have been without these for... 16 years of my life and then I got these and all of a sudden I've been able to pinpoint the direction of the sound pretty accurately. Another thing that I have never been able to hear before that I am suddenly hearing is the school bell. I could never hear the school bell at all. Like I would just go out and leave class when everyone else left class but I could never hear the bell. I remember the first time I tried these I heard the bell I was shocked. I had never heard the bell before. Um, so that's something interesting to keep in mind that I am hearing things that I have never heard before with these hearing aids. Okay, another thing that it claims on the website is that with these hearing aids, you can have multiple conversations at once. While with other hearing aids, you were only able to have one cohesive conversation at a time. I somewhat agree with this. Like, I think no matter if you have perfect hearing, it's always hard to talk to more than one person at once. But I do appreciate that with this new technology where I can pinpoint the direction accurately, then I can know where the sound is coming from, and I don't have to work as hard to get the sound to come to my ear. I just have to relax and the sound comes. So with those two things combined, I do think that having more than one conversation is possible. I have done it before. Um, I'm not very good at it, but... I can definitely tell an improvement in the sound and the quality is the main thing that I'm trying to get at here. But now I'm going to be getting to the part where I know you all want to see and that is the connectivity. So I have an iPhone. I don't think you can use this technology with Android. I feel like it's a very iPhone powered phone. You can also connect your um, hearing aid with the new Mac, but my Mac doesn't have that technology in it. So it can only connect to my phone. I have an iPhone 6 and the connectivity is pretty great. I found that I had an easier time connecting them when they had disconnected with my rechargeable, but that could just be me. I'm gonna get the Otakon open app. And it will tell you all the directions on how to connect your hearing aid. You go to settings, you go to accessibility hearing aid, you turn off the hearing aid, turn it back on, and it should be connected. And after you've done that, you're pretty much done using this app. It looks like this. I still can't really figure it out properly. It's not good. You have to press a bunch of buttons to get to the one that you actually need. And it's just not good. So do not use this app. Pro tip. Also triple click the home button and you'll get a screen that says hearing devices and then it will say your name if you name your hearing aid your name that's what i named mine it'll say the battery up top and then it'll have volume levels i have noticed i don't know if it's the hearing aid connectivity itself or that my phone is just being glitchy but um i have to do this a couple times for it to get all the settings but once you do it looks like this so it says my name, Otakon Open 1, and then it says the volume that it is at. It always starts at 77 for me, like 77%. I don't know if that's because my audiologist put it in that way or if that's how it is. Uh, I like it. I find that when it's at 100%, it is way too loud. And when it's 0%, I really can't hear anything at all. Pro tip though, when you are listening to music on an airplane, turn the volume to zero and it will be life-changing it is noise canceling headphones at its finest when i discovered this i was like wow like they don't tell you this anywhere i don't know i haven't really read this instruction manual but pro tip you will thank me if you get these hearing aids turn the volume down to zero if you want noise canceling headphones and it is better than noise canceling headphones so do that as far as volume goes in everyday life 
and in different situations I find myself adjusting it if I'm in a louder situation or a restaurant or a party then I will definitely turn the volume down so I can hear the people around me better and if I am in a quieter situation or a classroom situation then maybe I'll turn the volume up so that's a very great opportunity that I feel like hadn't existed before sure you could change the volume but the technology wasn't really built to help you adapt to the certain situations in the certain people and how many people and just everything that's going around you. I feel like it's a very uh, life, real life centered hearing aid um, whereas the other ones are just focused on making it louder. This one is focused on making everything easier and I really appreciate that and I love, love love it so if you have the t-coil one you just press a button and i automatically go into t-coil mode t-coil mode is not my favorite i've had to go back to my audiologist and have it fixed uh because it was still doing the sound when it was connected to the fm system but then my audiologist fixed it and i can't hear the sound that much anymore so just go to your audiologist they know what you like Play around with it a couple of times and it will be good. The Bluetooth connectivity is good. Remember, if your hearing aid get disconnected, just go to settings. You can forget the device, but before you do that, turn off your hearing aid, turn them back on, and it should be fixed. It should be connected. So I'm trying to think of any other tips that I have, but I think I covered it all. Overall, I love these hearing aids. I would recommend it. It is crazy, crazy expensive, but... If this is something that you've been looking at for a long time, it is definitely beneficial to your hearing and I have noticed a big, big um, improvement from my last ones. I had the Agiles, Otakon Agiles, and I loved those. I thought those were amazing. Before, I thought my other ones were amazing. I've just been like upgrading and these Otakon Opens are amazing, especially when you see everyone in the hallways listening to music and as a hearing impaired person you can't really do that unless you have your streamer, but the streamer that I have doesn't even work that well. And now you just listen to uh, your music and nobody knows and it is just amazing. Please let me know if you have any other questions regarding the Otakon Opens and I will be happy more than willing to answer them. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to end this video. Love you guys. Bye!